Hold on to your hats and pass those Kellogg's Corn Pops. Because here comes Guy Madison as Wild Bill and his pal Jingles, which is me, Andy Devine. We got another rootin' tootin' Wild Bill Hickok adventure story for you from that great new cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Corn Pops! Kellogg's Corn Pops brings you Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. Courage, strength, and luck. That's what it took to drive the heavy freight wagons of the Old West over treacherous mountain trails. And the men who did were tough as rawhide. But they couldn't fight a mysterious jinx that brought death to every twist of the trail. And so it was that United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his deputy Jingles came to String Canyon to investigate the Red Wagon Jinx. Doggone it, Bill. Don't it seem like trouble enough comes along without us riding all over creation, chasing after it? This is one time I wish we'd been there before the trouble started. Yeah, I reckon if we had, Jeff Skinner would be alive to meet us when we get to String Canyon. Jeff was a great old man. And tough. Why, Jeff could drive a wagon team over these mountain trails where no self-respecting Billy Goat would go. That's why I don't think his death was any accident. It seems like Jeff's freight line was having more than a share of accidents. Like there was a jinx or something. A jinx? I wonder. But you figure it weren't just luck, huh, Bill? I mean to find out if these accidents were planned. And if you do, Bill, I, I reckon the ones that did the planning will need more than luck, huh? Whoa, boy, whoa, whoa. Jingles, look below there. Coming around the rim of that canyon. It's a runaway wagon and it's on fire. Come on. We'll cut through the pass and head it off. If they get that far without going over the side. Up, boy. Up. Let's go. Down this way. I want you, Bill. Here comes the wagon, burning like blazes. Get set. I'll make a grab for the hauler, Bill. Right. I'll try to jump aboard and help with the rain. Here goes. I got a hold, Bill. Hang on, Jingles. Move over, driver. I'm jumping on. I can't stop him, Bill. Drag on the rain. Hey, driver, let's pull together. Whoa, whoa, Bill. Oh, that does it, Bill, and not a second too soon. And we just missed that canyon by our eyebrows. Good as a mile. <laughs> Cut the traces, and I'll lead the horses away from the wagon. Right, Jingles. Now, mister, let's try and save your wagon. Hey, hey, mister. Oh, what's wrong, Bill? Looks like the driver passed out. He has. Cold. I'll get him down off of there. Now. Well, I'll be. What is it, Bill? The driver. He, he's a woman. Is she coming out of it, Jingles? Oh, sure. She's all right. Oh. There, there now, ma'am. Just take it easy. Poor little critter. Hey, real pretty, too. Even in the men's clothes she's wearing. I, uh, well, who are you? Huh? Who, who, me? Well, uh, I... There, Hello, uh, miss. Uh, feeling better? Oh, I remember. I remember you now. You saved my life. Who are you, anyway? My name is Hickok, miss. Hickok? Are you the one they call Wild Bill? Some folks do, miss. This is my deputy, Jingles. <laughs> Howdy, ma'am. Oh, I'm glad you're here. We need some men in String Canyon. Uh, <clears throat> you mean there ain't no men in town? Oh, they're all afraid. Afraid to drive my father's wagons. Afraid of the jinx. You must be Jeff Skinner's daughter. I am. We knew your dad, Miss Skinner. I, I know. He, he talked of you often. Doggone. You know, I should have known you was Jeff Skinner's kin driving a wagon like that. Well, knowing dad, Mr. Hickok, you know why I had to keep the freight rolling through these mountains? Yeah, I reckon Jeff would want it that way. Yes, and how he tried to keep it that way. Well, one by one, he lost his wagons and accidents. His drivers quit to go to work for Sanchez. Sanchez? He runs the other freight line? Yes. But Dad wouldn't sell out, and neither will I. After he was killed, that left only me and Swede, the blacksmith. Swede's got a bad arm, so I drove. Well, sorry we couldn't save the rig, ma'am. Horses are all right, though. On the ledge around the bend. Get down, miss! It's there. 
Sam, I'll come back to finish the job. <laughs> I see him, Bill, up there on top of that cliff. He's been on this ledge. Can't get a shot at him. Bill, they're shoving that big boulder off the cliff. That thing will start an avalanche. <laughs> it's moving. Come on, miss. We've got to make a run for it. Here it comes. Darn it. You know, your old pal Panhandle Jim gets a doggone worked up wondering how these stories are going to come out. I could bite a horseshoe nail in two. <laughs> uh, but since those Western horseshoe nails aren't very crispy or crunchy, I do it the easy way. I sit here in the edge of my chair and chomp up big, crunchy handfuls of Kellogg's corn pops. Yeah, right out of the box is the way I eat my corn pops, because the sweetening's already on them. Come sun up, though, I go for corn pops at breakfast in a bowl with milk. But whoa there, hold the sugar, partner. The sweetening's already on corn pops. And Kellogg's corn pops, delicious as they are, contain lots of things you need. B vitamins, vitamin D, with important minerals and food energy, too. That means you can eat all you want of those golden hearts of corn puffed up big and crisp. Say, and that silver-like bag inside the corn pops box is pure aluminum. Keeps Kellogg's Corn Pops fresh up to ten times longer. And your ma can use it to store things in the refrigerator or for wrapping sandwiches. But best of all, and already sweetened for you, are Kellogg's Corn Pops. You know who loves Pops. Kids love Pops. Moms love Pops. And Pops love Pops. <laughs> right. Now, let's get back to Wild Bill and Jingle. <laughs> After Wild Bill and Jingles rescued Jeff Skinner's daughter in the narrow mountain pass, the band of masked men who had stampeded her wagon returned to finish the job. By loosening a huge boulder, an avalanche came crashing down on the three who were trapped on a ledge below. There. The worst of it's over now. Oh, this big rock saved our lives. You know, one of them rocks put a brand new part in my hair. <laughs> Well, Jingles, what do you think about those accidents now? I don't think I like them. What do you think, Mr. Hickok? I think you've got yourself a new driver, miss. Uh, uh, Bill, you ain't fixing to start driving these mountain trails. No, Jingles, but I think you are. Oh, well, then that's all right. Huh? Who, me? Oh, no, Bill. <laughs> Attention, please. Here, here, it's Big Pete Sanchez. <laughs> thank you, folks, thank you. Well, I ain't no speech-making man, but this here blowout's kind of a celebration, you know. Uh, you said it, Big Pete. Yes, sir, because today marks the first anniversary of the Sanchez Freight Line. <laughs> now, uh, I ain't fixing to brag, but you know, in one year, Sanchez Freight has come to be the top line in these here parts. And that's how come this party. Yeah, yeah, we've been lucky. While some others ain't been so lucky. But out west here, it's the best man wins. So now, let's put the feedback on, folks. All these fancy eats were hauled across these mountains by Sanchez Freight. So, soup's on, folks. Come and get it. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's the matter, Swede? Lost your appetite? I'm not hungry, Mr. Sanchez. I'm just worried sick over poor Miss Skinner, driving the rim road all by herself. <laughs> Maybe you figure the jinx has got her, huh, Swede? I tell you, Mr. Sanchez, any harm come to her, you have me to answer to. And I just don't mean maybe. <laughs> you're loco. Who do you think you're talking to? Quiet, one shot. Mm. Why, sweet, I'm surprised at you. You know I offered to buy her no good red wagon line and take it off her hands. Why, sure, sweet. Big Pete can't help it if she's stubborn. If she wants to go on losing her jink wagons in accidents. Yo, I think you are yinks, Mr. Sanchez. I think you know when accidents come. Uh, you shut your trap, sweet, or I swear... Hold on, one shot. Now, you're a mighty good blacksmith, sweet, and I... Got a job waiting for you any time you give up your crazy notions. But be careful who you go around accusing, Savvy. 
You got no witnesses. Don't be too sure of that, Sanchez. Ah, uh, who's that? Hickok's a name, U.S. Marshal. Hickok. And Miss Laura, too. But it can't be why I saw Shut him. up, you fool. Today was no accident, Mr. Sanchez. Masked men met the wagon and set it on fire. If it hadn't been for Marshal Hickok... Well, and... now, don't that go to show I'm right, ma'am? You can't run that line. It's too plumb risky. I'll take the risk from here on in, Sanchez. And the red wagon line is still in business. Hey, hey. Thank you, friends. I know a lot of you have been afraid to ship by red wagon. Afraid of what would happen to your loads. And I don't blame you. But it takes more than a jinx to stop the line that Jeff Skinner started here years ago. And we have law in String Canyon now. Wild Bill Hickok is here. (laughs) You ask me, there ain't no jinx on the red wagon line. Just plumb bad management. Why, sure. Accidents don't happen when you know how to avoid them. I thought you folks wanted a reliable freight line. We'll let the folks decide what they want, Sanchez. This here's no affair of yours, Hickok. How come you're poking your nose in anyway? I poke it in wherever I please, friend. It's my nose. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't like it, Savvy. No? Maybe you'd like to change it, mister. So it's trouble you want, huh? Well, you're a big man, Hickok. But I think I can cut you down to size. Next time you pull a gun on me one shot, pull faster, because next time I won't aim at the gun. You're by Yingo, you ain't just fighting women and broken down men like me no more. All right, Hickok. This is my last offer. The little lady sells out now, or if it's war you want, then it's war you'll get. If that's the way it has to be, Sanchez. Then it's war. <laughs> Oh, and you're on time, too. Oh, that makes three round trips this week, sweet. Sure, uh, and no sign of that old Yinx. <laughs> Hello, Yinx. Uh, howdy, sweet. Howdy, Miss Laura. Good work, Jingles. Uh, where's Bill? Oh, he's coming, ma'am. Well, here we are again. Three in a row, all safe and sound, and none the worse for way. <laughs> oh, by golly, you are a sight for sore eyes, Jingles. Well, we best get this team into the barn, sweet. Them horses are plumb tuckered. Oh, I, I will fix them, Jingles. You bet you, and uh, I will do a good job, too. Yeah, and I'm going to spraddle out my weary bones somewhere and just take root, sweet. Yeah, how many trips are we going to let go through, Sanchez, before we stop them? You ain't never been much of a hand at poker, one shot. You know, you got to let the other fellow win a few hands so he begins to feel easy. And that's when you crack down on him. I savvy. But we don't stand a chance of pulling those stunts like when I drove old man Skinner's team off the trail. Not with Hickok scouting every inch of the road when the red wagons roll. Now, don't get excited, one shot. We'll fix their little red wagon. And Hickok, too. There's lots of ways to skin a cat. You're a great one for sayings, Big Pete. But I'm itching for action. Uh, Look, here comes Hickok now, riding into town. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, boy. Whoa. Uh, He sure keeps his eye on them freight runs. Yeah. And Laura, she sure keeps her eye on him. Can I take your horse or something? Well, hello, Miss Laura. Well, no, ma'am, I guess I'll manage all right. Uh, You always do. Well, everything went well again, huh? Couldn't be better. Bill, next trip, I want to go along. Why, sure, Miss Laura, but why? Well, I want to do a little shopping for a real pretty dress. Well, all right, but I think that dress is pretty enough. Do you, Bill? Do you really? Howdy, Marshal. Howdy, ma'am. Well, looks like all's well that ends well, huh? I reckon you can't beat the Proverbs, can you? No, Mr. Sanchez, you can't. And I have another one for you. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Well, that's true enough. And I'm uh, plumb sorry I got so ornery the other day. Little competition's good for business. Why, sure. All it took was a strong man's hand to pull the red wagon line back in shape. Maybe so, but talking of Proverbs, I don't count my chickens until they're hatched. Come on, Bill. Let's go. (laughs) The great Hickok. What a pretty target. Turns his back on me just as big as you please. Don't let it tempt you, one shot. Boy, I heard it while Bill's got eyes in the back of his head. No, I got a better way. Let's hear it. I'll get even with him for shooting that gun out of my hand if it's the last thing I do. And listen, and you won't get hurt. You heard what she said just now? She's going along tomorrow. 
Well, tonight, you and the boys are heading out to Long Bridge. You're going to work on them timbers till they're ready to go out. I got you. The bridge goes out when the wagon hits it. And if the fall doesn't finish them, the rapids will. Yeah. And when Hickok rides down to help them, there'll be a nice little ambush waiting for him. He'll have his hands full. Yeah, I got you. I got you. He'll never know what hit him. <laughs> Rained all day the night I left The weather it was dry The sun so hot I froze to death Susanna, don't you cry Oh, Susanna Did anyone ever tell you you have a lovely voice, Jingles? <laughs> well, I come to think of it I don't recall anyone ever saying just that But thank you, man, thank you You know, horses seem to like it, though Seems to make them want to run Horses are just like people Oh, sure, the... Oh, now, Miss <laughs> Laura. Now, take Nellie there. Now, she's a heap smarter than some folks I know. Well, Nellie seems to be afraid of something. Yeah, come on now, Nellie. Doggone it. Just when I start bragging, she starts balking. <laughs> now, ain't that just like a woman? She's frightened, Jingle. She's rearing up. Now, oh, Nellie, easy, gal. That's Longbridge just ahead. Yeah, maybe them rapids have got old Nellie kind of skittish. Funny, never acted that way before. Jingles, now I'm scared. Where's Bill? Oh, no, he's up in them mountains, ma'am, keeping an eye on us. Now, don't worry, now. Here we go, over the bridge. Effects. Well, the show's not even close to over, and I'm all out of corn pops. <laughs> Here, I've been telling you right along to load up on plenty of Kellogg's corn pops. Then your old pal, Panhandle Jim, runs clean out of corn pops himself. <laughs> well, that'll be a lesson to me, and to you, too. Remember to get plenty of Kellogg's corn pops to mar, sure. The new two-way cereal that's already sweetened for you. I said two-way cereal, because that's the way you eat pops. Out of the box or out of the bowl. Dig in for a fistful any time of the day, but come breakfast, pour on a little milk, and you're all set. And before you start for the sugar bowl, take a taste. You don't need sugar, because corn pops are already sweetened for you. Say, and your ma let you eat all the corn pops you want, too, because they contain B vitamins, vitamin D, with important minerals and food energy. Say, and take a look at that silvery bag that holds the corn pops in the box. That bag keeps Kellogg's Corn Pops fresh up to ten times longer. It's great for packing sandwiches in after all the corn pops are gone. And your ma will like it to store things in the refrigerator. Now, let's get together here and tell the folks who loves pops. Kids love pops, moms love pops, and pops love pops. Right. Now, let's get rootin' tootin' back to the show. <laughs> When the heavy freight wagon, driven by Jingles, with Laura as passenger, crossed Long Bridge, the timbers, cut by one shot, gave out, plunging horses, wagon, and riders into the rapids below. <laughs> Miss Laura, where are you? Can you hear me? Keep kicking your legs now. Well, we're still being swept down to the falls. Yeah, no, I got you. I got you all right. But, but I just remembered. What? I can't swim very good. Diggle! Laura! Hang on to each other. Tight! It's Bill! Yeah, we're hanging, Bill! I can't reach with my rope. I'm going to ride on downstream. Hold tight. He's going. Don't give up, ma'am. We got a chance. I know. One in a million. Sanchez, we sure got Hickok now. Just one shot, that's all I need. Just one shot. Reckon you can't miss from here, one shot. Nah. Hey, what you suppose he's trying to do out there? Dunno, jumping down off his horse. 
Crawling out on that dead tree limb overhanging the river. Yeah, building a loop with his rope. Oh, I got it. He figures he'll drop the loop right over their heads when the current brings them down. <laughs> that varmint never gives up. Well, one shot, you got yourself a target. <laughs> yeah, Sanchez. This is one time we can really say we got Wild Bill Hickok out on a limb. Well, go on. Plug him. Yeah. Got him in my sights. Dead center. Wait, wait. Hmm. Here comes a deputy in the gal like a couple of drowned rats. Current's dragging him to the falls fast. Well, what do you mean, wait? What for? Just curious. Let's see if he really can drop that loop before you plug him. Oh, yeah, I got you. Now, look. There they go. He's lying flat in that tree limb. Got the rope swinging under him. He's dropping He's it. He's going to miss. He got him. Yeah. Roped him right in the edge of the falls. Oh, Bill, you did it. You did it. I told you he would, man. Just a few minutes more now. Have you up. All right, one shot now. Now, while he's wrapping that rope around the limb, kill him. Yeah. All right, Hickok. Good job, but not good enough. One shot. You're hit. Oh, you fool. Why'd you yell out? You tipped him off. Yeah. Done for it. I didn't figure he could do it from out on a limb. I'm getting out of here. Come on, horse. Come on. I see you, Sanchez. Come back here. Come and get it, Hickok. I saved this for you. Bill, take a squint at that trail down there. Yes, sir, Jingles. That's one of Skinner's red wagons making another safe trip. You know, since you got rid of Sanchez and his gang, they're all safe trips. Wish old Jeff could see the way his wagons are rolling now. Ah, so do I. Well, I reckon Miss Laurel will miss you, though. I think we'll ever go back to String Canyon. If there's trouble there, we'll go back. But there's a heap more trouble where we're going. Yeah, that's what they tell me. So let's make tracks. Up, boy. Up, Up. ho, ho. Well, I ain't worried, partner, but I notice there's one kind of trouble we're plumb scared of. What's that, Jingles? You know what I mean, Bill Hickok. A woman with a marion look in her eye. And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison, and Andy Devine. Mighty glad you could be with us, folks. Hope you'll be with us when we tie up again next week. I'll say we end up in a mess of trouble as usual. Meanwhile, Andy and I also hope you'll remember to get Kellogg's Corn Pops. Right. It's the great new cereal with the sweetening already on it. You bet it is. Andy and I think Corn Pops are great. So long. See you next week. <laughs> Yes, sir, be sure to listen next week at the same time on this same station when Kellogg's Corn Pops brings you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Ken Peters, Frank Gerstel, Joe Duvall, and Gene Bates. Our director is Paul Pierce, music by Dick Orant. This is a David Heyer production. This is Charlie Lyon reminding you, kids love pops, moms love pops, pops love pops, Kellogg's Corn Pops. (laughs) 